2015, can you believe it? I oh, know, we're like uh, we're way way behind 2017 now. Yeah. <coughs> We've got new shirts and new mugs. Yeah, you gotta get one. <clears throat> you don't have one? I will fix you up. Yeah. I know a guy. <laughs> sure <you> do. <laughs> Tiny Truck Salutes! Yeah, rig <laughs> review time too. Wow, it's great, it's great. <clears throat> uh, what's the occasion? Uh, well, the occasion is uh, I'm back. Uh, I'm back from a great weekend at uh, one of our uh, adventure series in URE. And uh, yes, sir. I know it's two years old, but okay. Um, and uh, this is uh, this is a fresh build, of course. It, it's it's um, ready to go for the 2017 season, so uh, why not do a rig review? <clears throat> uh, I can only say... Wow, this is amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Uh, it uh, came out uh, quite nice. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's another it. another nice build. Uh, <coughs> wow, uh, for GCM. <coughs> so, uh, what's going on here? I mean, a rig review. We try to cover all the details from top to bottom. So, let's give a full rundown on what we're seeing. I mean, all I can say is uh, you really nailed the look on this one. Well, thank you. Um, this uh, this one was inspired by my uh, brother who had one in '94. He had a two-door sport, uh, exact same sort of uh, uh, color and and red trim. Uh, yeah. Loved it. It was a great. We call it the Billy Goat. Uh, it went over <laughs> curbs and, and everything. Yeah. It was a really nice uh, truck. Loved it. And of course, uh, when these bodies uh, became available. Uh, it was a must-have. Uh, it's okay, it's a four-door. I would have preferred a two-door, uh, but it was the closest thing I could get to what we had back in the day. So that was its inspiration. So hard body. Hard body, yeah. It's so close to the Lexan Proline version. It right. looks like the Lexan one actually has a lot of detail too. Yeah. So you could be swayed. Yeah. Um, and this, of course, started... Uh, it, it, it's, uh, its roots are the uh, Cross Canyon... Uh, chassis uh, and this is this is it here and of course this is good timing uh, for this rig review because what are we what are, what have we done here at GCM with with some of our chassis <clears throat> uh, you mean starter kits? yes starter kits uh, what we did with the starter kits is basically we took the full combos and stripped them down to the essence of the truck build which is what you see right here that that's the cross canyon starter kit uh, frame rails, servo mount, motor mount in the front for axial three gear tranny, uh, skid plate to get you going with a T case, and uh, after that it's <laughs> build whatever you want really. So you know that's kind of the premise of the starter kit, and I think that's uh, how you got going on this one too. Yeah, I, I was I uh, was lucky enough to, to get one, and then uh, and then as you say it it developed into this. It's amazing that you can get inspiration from this and then get into that so um, yeah so if you look at the suspension of course it's linked all the way around uh, these are the boom racing axles which look similar to the k44s from uh, yeah they're wider though yeah bigger. slightly wider heavier yeah. um, but they're they're nice they're a nice piece boom yeah. racing came out with a nice uh, axle set uh, coiled all the way around which is uh, what I wanted to go with of course the original wouldn't have been that uh, that way but I wanted it to have a an adventure, an adventure series. Uh, <laughs> this was an accident, okay? <laughs> yeah, we did not no, plan no. to wear the same shirt today. No. It just happened. Uh, I wanted it to be like, a, as I say, an adventure type, uh, outback type yeah. uh, vehicle with all of its uh, accessories. So yeah, uh, sitting a little high, um, and then sort of the black uh, look to it, which is which is beautiful. I'm gonna say it's like uh, it's not lifted much. No, it really no. just seems like it's got decent springs and tires on it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, speaking of the tire, they're uh, Pitbull, um, the uh, PBX uh, ATs. I like those. They're really nice, uh, and they really, I think, in my opinion, suit this uh, this vehicle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're great tires. I, I haven't ran this one much except for around the shop. Yeah. Um, but, but been to enough events where people are raving about these tires. So if you're looking yeah. for a nice tire, the, uh, the Pitbull, uh, PBX, uh, ATs are beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, thanks to Pitbull and, and, uh, and for putting these tires, these tires are awesome. Love them. 
And that's a, on the technical side, that's a 1.9 wheel. Yep. And the tire is 405 diameter on the sidewall. Yep, great. Great tire. Uh, and then, of course, we've got a set of Detroits on, on, uh, on the tires. Yeah, they uh, fit that really nice. Yeah, nice. yeah, sort of the black theme again. Um, so good match. It, yeah, it's a really good match. Yeah. Um, this one uh, has got a full interior in it, and uh, we'll sure have does. shots of that at the end of the video. Um, <clears throat> the interior started with uh, Ryan Luna. Uh, yeah. His his 3D printed interior and seats, uh, and you know I gotta say something about about his 3D printing quality. Mm. Um, what I liked about it, especially with the dash, uh, was the quality of the print mimicked sort of the texture of, of what the dash would look like. Um, and it was 100%. very, yeah, very detailed and very scale yeah, yeah. Uh, looking. Um, <clears throat> so all of the, the print lines that he had in there were, I think he took a lot of attention to detail because the kit that you can get for this, uh, the interior kit from Ryan is really, really nice. Now I, I, I tend to do a little more to the interior. I covered the seats with, uh, with a fabric and then sort of woven in um, a bit of a red uh, piping yeah. uh, to, to mimic the red uh, trim on the outside. So, uh, yeah, it came out great. Uh, really happy with the interior, blacked uh, interior. Uh, really, really uh, happy with that. Uh, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's, I think, the 99% of the effort that goes into one of these really custom builds. Mm -hmm is trying to figure out how to marry up a fresh interior build with a fresh chassis, with a fresh body. And a lot of the times they haven't been done before. So, right. you know, how do you even start? How did you start? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I never was... know how I start, to be honest. <laughs> it, it just sort of comes together. Uh, you know, I, I, they're always a bit of a surprise to you when I do these builds. <laughs> yeah. And I know, I know you really want me to do a whole sort of uh, build thread. And I take, I take pictures, but oftentimes I'll sit in my basement and just get going, just get started. And, yeah, yeah. and, and then I show up 11 months later and I'm like, Hey, look at this. Yeah. She's like, wow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it was a labor of love. Uh, you know, it's with the interior. One of the challenges I really had with this build was, and this was one of the early XJ bodies that came out. The, the windows were horrible. Uh, oh yeah, the windows. All the windows had all scratching and, and and so on and so forth. And I know there there is a way to buff that out, and I tried my best, but still became a bit foggy. Mm. Um, so I had to I had to make my own windows, uh, except for the front one, which was nice. It it was, seemed to be intact. So that was some of the challenges with the interior, well, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Well, the windows are perfect. Well, thank you. What yeah. do you guys? You just made them? Yeah, I made them out of Lexan. Uh, for those who are keen on XJs and Jeeps, you'll notice that there's like a little wing window that's oh, supposed yeah. to be there. Uh, it's not there. Um, yeah, I never picked up on that. Yeah, so uh, perhaps <clears throat> perhaps I'll, I'll put one in, but uh, time, effort, and so on, that's the only thing that's kind of missing. So uh, you guys can point that out if you want. <laughs> hey, cool, license plate. Uh, yeah, so uh, of course, uh, Crawler Concepts. Uh, we get most, if not all, of our license plates. Uh, I think they all come from there. Yeah, they're I really like nice, really nice. They do a great job. Uh, uh, just another little tidbit for the uh, the interior. I've got a CB from VS Customs. Yes. Um, he, he supplied me with one of those, so it's a nice uh -huh. little fit uh, for that. I like that one too. Um, one of the things that, that really interested me in this build, the, the, the bumper uh, bumpers and the, the roof rack is from the... SCX2 uh, Jeep uh, that they have, so I, I, I wanted to put those on. I thought they were a good match uh, with the hard body. They really are a good match. Yeah, they are. And I took a lot of attention to detail for the lines and the gaps uh, so that it would yeah. all work. Uh, so that that is a good match. If, if you've got these bumpers and you've got a hard body, they'll, they'll work well together, at least in my opinion. Nice. Um, and then I like to access, uh, this is one of those first times I really threw, throw a lot of accessories uh, on the roof rack. Um, just to, again, give it that adventure series look like he's going out into the forest uh, for a week or two. So He uh, looks prepared here too, he's got a light bar. Yeah, he's got a light bar. Um, uh, Jonathan Baskin's um, help um, due to time. Uh, we were at uh, 
we were at Florida for the uh, U.S. Scale Truck Expo. That's right. He was there. Great individual. Yeah. Um, yeah I think he was part of Brian uh, uh, Exclusive RC's crew. Yep. And he wired up because uh, I, <laughs> you know, it's always a rush when we we have a, a deadline or an event. We want to build something and bring it. Yeah. Um, I had yet to wire up my lights and my light bar, so he he lit that all up for me on a little fob. I have like a little Bluetooth fob. Oh yeah. Um, that he, he, uh. he magically made happen for me. So uh, big <laughs> shout out to him. Thank Magic. you very much for that. Yeah. Uh, it really works well. And he attached the winch so I can use the winch oh, that's good uh, too. in the front. So uh, yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's, wow. it's a nice piece. It's come out nice um, with all the accessories and, and, uh, and the chassis and the tires and, and all the little tidbits. You know, it almost takes an army to build these things, you know, when it comes to the Cross Canyon, uh, you know, mail order, a body, uh, boom yeah. racing rims, yeah. all that kind of stuff just comes together. And then you need uh, someone like uh, yourself or myself to, to put it together and, and away we go. So nice. Yeah, thank you. Can anybody else see the exhaust pipe here? Uh, yeah, a little uh, exhaust pipe. I, I, I love that. I think I have it going out the right side. Uh, it may go out the, the other side. Um, I think yours is right. I think mine is wrong. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And, you know, I'm sure we'll get a comment about that. <laughs> and that's what I appreciate. Yeah. Again, I appreciate yeah. the the people that, I mean, there are diehard, as we know, Jeep lovers out there. Yeah. So yeah. feel free to critique it. Yeah. But it was yeah. as close as I could get. <clears throat> really nicely done. Now, yeah. um, one other thing that uh, really helped with the build, the build and the details uh, is the badging. Um, ah. All this badging that I got uh, was from JS Scale. Um, yes. That uh, was available uh, for me. So that. And these are uh, metal, actual, like, they're not stickers, right? They're yeah. like actually metal laser cut or something. Yeah. And if you think this is a half decent build, uh, JS Scale, I'm sure you guys know by now. And if you don't, look them up. Their builds and their artistry when it comes to their bodies and, and setup is second to none um i'm anxious to yeah. get um the they have a stock set of uh rims for that year oh wow that, that are 3d printed they are so nice uh that i've seen and he's kind of held it up to the body and they look really mint so I'm, i, I want to get a pair of those and it's the uh, it's the proper sport rim yeah replica right yeah yeah, yeah. really really well done so amazing uh so th yeah that was a nice uh, little tidbit a nice little detail that i could get from them mm. so i'm happy with that so now you have this uh, fully ready to run truck here that's um, sitting on your shelf. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's kind of a habit that we have, uh, Isn't you know. That the truth, eh? Yeah, you spend so much time building them, and you end up with you know these trucks like this one, and uh, there's so much time and effort that you you kind of don't want to bring it out right away. I don't know. There's a bit of a delay before they get used. Right. Uh, there, <laughs> there's always the debate between uh, one that you will take out in the forest and a shelf queen. Yeah. I, I'd like to say that none of mine are shelf queens, but they certainly will stay on the shelf after I build them <laughs> for a while. It's uh, curing time. It's. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's curing time. Uh, and, and they can be up to six months, yeah. right? <laughs> And then if winter happens, it could be a year. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Uh, it will see some trail time this year for sure. I, I'll probably be gentle with it. Um, yeah. And, and then as they as the scratches grow, uh, they, yeah. they tend to get used a little more until they get to that right yeah. patina. And then I sort of retire them after that. So um, uh, I have to make a mention of this. Can you please explain to me how you made this bungee cord... Uh, crosshairs thing that covers everything because that to me is kind of amazing well thank you uh you know it, it wasn't that difficult of course you go to the dollar store and get those hair elastics um not not for me because i have no hair but <laughs> <laughs> not for me because mine's like turning colors yeah so you get a hair elastic uh and then uh, even at the dollar store they have this sort of uh wire i think it's a craft wire is Come, that what that is yeah it comes in several different colors and uh Okay. You know, just married the two together. It was it wasn't overly difficult. Uh, a little crazy glue, a little wire, and a little wow. uh, bungee cord, and away you go. Uh, yeah, and that was sort of the first time I uh, had done that sort of cross pattern. Um, and I like it, it a it lot. It holds everything in. Yeah, so. that's amazing. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah. it's good. It's going to be a fun one. Wow. Uh, I am anxious to get it on on the uh, road and see how it wheels. Uh, you know, it's got a lot of. Uh, 
uh, clearance, mm. um, so it should perform well. I mean, I'd like to say all of our GCM products perform well, so this is just one other one that's going to be uh, <laughs> quite the performer out there. Um, and this chassis, I mean, uh, wh what's what's the brief history of this chassis? How did this come to be? So the Cross Canyon uh, was actually designed to convert an AX10 crawler buggy oh, okay. Okay. into a scale truck platform. Right. So it was really made to just house all the axial stuff, and then when we started doing forward motor conversions, right. uh, it ended up with that motor plate. And here we go. And uh, how many trucks have I built on that? I can't even remember them now. I think it must be 10, 12. Well, that's that's the amazing thing about that uh, I've comped too competition yeah. trucks. This 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 is a nice comp chassis, uh, yeah. and uh, the nice thing is is it's got such a variety. You can put it under so many bodies um, that uh, you know it, yeah. it works well in a lot of applications. <clears throat> and I think the starter kit is under a hundred bucks. Wow, wow, that's a pretty easy way to get going with a forward forward motor trucking setup. Yeah, that you can make out of stuff you probably have in your drawer like an axial tranny and uh you know whatever your favorite axles are <laughs> there's a bunch of nice new axles out now too there's actually lots of options which makes me really happy yeah i've got a set of bauhaus uh, 152s um which i'm excited to to, yeah. to use um there's a new uh cast 44 axle from rc four wheel drive just yeah. came out yeah yeah, they look really hot. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, that's nice. So, you know, if you pick one of these up, now you you know, you got all kinds of options, right? right. You can put whatever axle set you want underneath yep. that. And in, in most cases, if not all cases, it's going to work for you. So, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you for sharing your rig. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm excited uh, for the 2017 season. I'm excited not to get any scratches on it this year. And maybe a few <laughs> next year. <laughs> and away we go. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's so great. Yeah. So um, so what's uh, what's next for you? You got uh, this week. What's what's happening this week? <clears throat> uh, well, we're actually on the in-between time. Okay. Uh, you just came back from Adventure Series yep. in North Carolina. And Stephen and I are closing up shop here uh, this week yep. to go to Calgary for the Call to Crawl Series opener. Awesome. That'll be lots of fun. Yeah. Uh, so we should see a whole bunch of trail rigs like this out for yep. Call to Crawl Calgary and uh, pretty excited. Actually, if I have a chance, I'm going to try to do some on-trail rig reviews with some of the West Coast lads or Western lads out in Calgary. Perfect. Well, yep. stay tuned because uh, lots of stuff coming down the pipe for sure. Yep. Good. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thank you. Uh, more rig reviews coming. We have a couple more in the queue here that we're yeah. going to fire out with some new truck. Yeah, we got to get this guy right back on the bench. That Steven's thing's amazing bill. now that it's yeah. finished. Yeah. Uh, you'll see that on the trail in Calgary, too. Of course, we wanted to do that rig review, but he's not quite awake yet. <laughs> <laughs> he's over there, actually. Yeah, he's laughing at he's us. He's laughing right at us right there, yeah, but yeah, we'll get yeah. him in the camera. We'll get him up, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Pretty soon. Well, uh, <laughs> it's it's great to be here. Uh, tiny Truck Salute. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, <clears throat> guys. Take care.